Hello, everybody, and welcome to the fastest growing trivia show on Patreon. This is Trivia Tower. I am Ben Hansen. Thank you for being here. Joined by Blessing and Yoya Jr. from Kind of Funny. Welcome, sir. Ben Hansen, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited about this. Yeah, it's it's nice to be on this end of trivia. It's nice just to be able to sit back, not get stressed out. You just get to watch other people be really stressed out, which is really yeah. what you want from trivia, I think. Yeah, if people listen to the Kind of Funny Games cast, we actually have our own trivia game show that we do for the post show of that, which is called Bless Who. Yeah. Uh, and like, I this is like my I do love being on this side of it because like as much as I like you know racking my brain trying to figure out solutions, trying to figure out answers, I just as much like every seeing everybody else like just try and scramble to figure shit out or figure yeah. things out because like it's tough, right? It's tough when like you don't know and it's like either I'm reading a description and you're like. Oh, that sounds like 18 different final uh, fantasy games that it could be. Yep. Final Fantasy is Elden Ring. You have no idea. It's impossible. The nice thing is uh, people don't have to be on camera. So if you're watching this live on YouTube, uh, thank you for watching us live. You can always jump in and compete. It's not too late. If you support Mimax on Patreon at the $2 tier, you can compete every single month for Trivia Tower. So if you're watching this live, uh, follow the link in the description. Head over to Patreon. You can still jump in and win game codes because we have a lot of stuff to give away. But the nice thing is we don't get to watch anybody choke, really. We can watch them maybe be stressful, get a typo in there, but that's that's the most that's going to happen. No one's going to make fun of them like some Wheel of Fortune clip online. It's impossible to mess up if you're competing, really. It's always tough when you see one of those circulate, uh, yeah. one of the Wheel of Fortune clips, because I saw one last week that was bad. It was real bad. It was like, I forget what the phrase was, but it was one of those phrases where it's like, Everybody knows this, and like all three contestants were just striking out over and so over tip again. Of the it's, cap. All, it's so frustrating yeah. to watch. Yeah, it was rough. Uh, we actually we streamed uh, playing Wheel of Fortune on Switch last week here for New Show Plus, and I learned that Jenna Garcia apparently had never played or had never watched Wheel of Fortune in her life, which was mind-boggling. Interesting. Yeah. Jenna Garcia is a person of many surprises. Like we have her, of course, she's also on PS Love You XOXO. Of course. I feel like every single week there's something new that I learn about Jenna Garcia, where I'm like. How are you a person? <laughs> like, how have you not done either not done a thing, or how are you also doing a thing at the same time? Because she's a she's a lady of many hobbies, right? She's out there jogging, she's out there rollerblading, she's out there running marathons. Do you know about her slam piano? Do you know about her slam TikToks. poetry background? You know what? I think I heard about this briefly, and it's funny because I also have a slam poetry background, and what? I don't think we've ever actually had a conversation about it. That's wild. Yeah, we need to actually have that conversation because I keep—I think we keep forgetting to bring it up because we're both from Illinois. Yeah, and I'm sure like I'm sure it has something to do with like that Chicago culture of slam poetry, where it's like, yeah, that's what you do when you're from the Midwest, right? <laughs> There's not much to do, so we write poetry and perform it and get real angsty. <laughs> that's all we can do. Uh, all right, you mentioned uh, P.S. I love you. Um, what else is going on over there? Kind of funny you're proud of these days. Is the Blessing Show still going on? Blessing Show is off season right now, okay. but it's like it, it's forever kind of ongoing. Um, but yeah, we're I'm currently like it's funny. I'm literally talking to Roger. I was talking to him this morning about what the next season of the Blessing Show is going to be. And I'm very excited about that. But yeah, uh, if you want to check out old episodes of the Blessing Show, that's, of course, available on YouTube.com slash kind of funny games. We have a whole playlist that you can check out of that. Uh, it's kind of funny games daily, which is our video game news show that happens every single weekday. Uh, it's, a, it's an hour long me talking to a co-host or, or two other Greg and somebody right uh, breaking down the video game news of the day. And then there's also kind of funny games cast, which just kind of our video game review show and we just we've and reviews impressions big topic kind of show and so we've, we've just come off the reviews of like Elden Ring, Gran Turismo, Horizon Forbidden West and review season is still ongoing and so you're going to see some more reviews coming up uh, in the next few weeks on kind of funny games cast. This is mind boggling it never ends I really want to like look back at the calendar I think this might be the strongest first three months in oh, yeah. video game history like it really is just a juggernaut after Dude, juggernaut it's crazy it's ridiculous i've been thinking about about it a lot in relation to 2017 where like yeah, 2017 is yeah. what i consider in my, my head like the greatest video game year and yeah. like so many of my favorite video games have come from that year and like this time in 2017 we had like zelda and horizon and i think that was about it whereas like now it's like yeah we got pokemon like a new big vast pokemon that a lot of people are loving right we got dying light 2 we got horizon we got sifu we got elden ring we got um gran turismo right the list goes yeah. on we got wwe 2k22 that's fantastic <laughs> which apparently is solid it's, it's yeah i've been playing it nonstop. <laughs> jesus uh well hey thanks for being here and thank you so much for watching everybody if you're watching this on youtube after the fact and you say you know what i like trivia shows i like game trivia i like watching this and shouting out the answer from home even if you don't want to compete, we'd appreciate it if you help support the show by going to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Again, just $2. You can compete next month. We'd love to have you in the middle of next month. Um, all right. Blessing. Um, there are a bunch of people screaming on the right-hand side of the screen. Do you want to ask any question under the sun and just see how many people could conceivably answer it? This doesn't need to be a trivia question. Just any question under the sun. Please take it away. Oh, just any question under any the sun. Any question. What were my top three games of 2017? 
All right. Very not, a, not something that you would just automatically know, but maybe if you follow me, maybe you know. Okay, all right. We'll see how long it takes for these to start. Okay, we got uh, Chrono Trigger Breath of the Wild. Minesweeper, was it Minesweeper Blessing? It was not Minesweeper. Also, Chrono Trigger definitely did not come out in 2017, but okay. good guess. Interesting, interesting. Well, they'll keep guessing for a while, but here's what this is. Ooh, somebody got it. Really? Wow, we got a is fan Is that Colton? Here. Colton in chat. Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Nier Automata. Absolutely wow. nailed it. Wow, killed it, Colton. Very impressive. Um, Very impressive. This is what this is. This is Trivia Tower. If you're watching this on YouTube, the right-hand side of the screen is MinMax's Discord, which you can get access to if you support us on Patreon. It's really where the heart of the community is, so check it out, please. Um, people are going to be guessing the answers on the right-hand side of the screen. This is Trivia Tower, or t Trivia Tower. so of course there are five floors to the Trivia Tower. If you get an answer correctly, you move on to the next floor. We're going to be asking 25 questions, 15, 10, 5. Then if you're the last person standing, you win an Astro A40 headset. We will ship that out to you. But here's the thing, you make it to the third floor, you win a game code. We'll message you after the fact. We'll send you a DM on Discord after the fact. You get to choose which game you want. We have game codes for Nobody Saves the World, uh, which I am gaga over. I love that game. Uh, oh, yeah. Young Souls, which was a Stadia exclusive. It just came out and everyone's like, oh, this is actually really good. So you can get that. Uh, Shadow Warrior 3, big game that just came out. Uh, uh, Republic on Switch. You can get that Ooh. as well if you make it to the third floor. If you make it to the fifth floor, you win a code for Elden Ring. So get ready, everybody. Um, also then, if you make it to the final floor, if you're the absolute last winner, not only do you win the headset, but you also get any image you want on MinMax's Wall of Heroes, the rotating slideshow and everything. You get the keys to the kingdom on the Discord, everything like that. Um, but of course, it's trivia, so there are some rules here. So here are the rules for Trivia Tower. One typo is allowed per answer, everybody, including spaces, not counting punctuation. A typo is a missing character, an extra character, a character in the wrong place. Your one typo cannot spell the name of a different game. So you can't be like, Halo 2. Well, I meant to say Halo 1, but the 2 was the typo. It's no good. You don't try that stuff around here. Uh, let's see. We got. To, we need the full name of the game, unless otherwise stated. This includes the word the in the beginning. For example, The Last of Us. We need the full name of the game, unless we tell you. We'll let you know if we don't need the subtitle. But for example, Halo 5 Guardians, we would need the full thing. Thank you, Brandon. You know how this works. Uh, Roman numerals, numbers, interchangeable. No editing your answer after the fact. No messaging other players still in the game. And the chat is slowed down so you can only guess once every 30 seconds so you need to be smart this isn't just a gatling gun of guesses you need to be a smart sniper over there with your intelligence so save it for the right time to fire that shot christopher ontivero says can't slow me down well you'll have 30 seconds until you can type be that careful in, with those guesses, then. all right i think we're about ready to go do you have any questions blessing about how this is going to go no, I think you you nailed it. Those rules were, were very straightforward and clear. Uh, I'm Ooh. ready to jump into this. All right, I love it. Here we go, everybody. The first floor, first floor of Trivia Tower is an oldie but a goodie, one we haven't done for a while. This is one that we call Zoom Shot. These are going to be video game screenshots that are going to be extremely zoomed in. It'll be slowly zooming out, zooming out on this video game screenshot. You have to guess the name of the game. The first person to guess it moves on to the second floor. Steve-O says this is the best category. Interesting. Evan One Sonic, I believe in you. I really think you can do it. I think everyone can do it here. Switching to high def on YouTube is a good call. All right, here we go, everybody. And by the way, Blessing here has in his pocket something that we call a Hail Mary, which can shake up the category at any point, shake up the format of trivia at any point. So there might be a Hail Mary coming, which will change up everything and we'll get out of this zoom shot hell. But now, how many Hail Marys do I have? And is it just for this category? Is it just one throughout all the categories? It's only, like, in, the, what is, what it's only in the first floor you can use okay. it. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Let's say you have more than one. So it's up to you how you space it out. Mm. Okay, here okay. we go, everybody. First screenshot first one to give me the full name of this game moves on to the next floor good luck <sighs> dead rising is an early guess interesting bayonetta dead cells oh my god all right this is where it gets tough to read blessing how's your vision oh oh man my i mean my vision's decent but man people are really rolling with, rolling with this one yeah they're all over the place the good news is i haven't seen it yet oh okay it was very interesting guesses though yeah a lot of people were going for like red games because the red mm -hmm. that you see mm -hmm. solid solid people you know. are still circling around maybe the spelling of this thing but i think you're barking up the wrong tree everybody you should start thinking a little more broadly oh people are gonna get it now people are going to get it, it now nobody's gotten it 
Okay, Waiting for there it. we go, there we go, there we go. First person to get it, that is Tanuki with Saints Row Gat out of Hell. Really great guess there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, as soon as you see the character there, I feel like that is the dead giveaway. But then the I think I, it's fun seeing people go through the rigmarole in their head of like, all right, but which one is it? And then you obviously are like, well, that's a demon, so it has to be get out of hell, right? <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know how many people I saw to guess Doom, but hey, it takes all kinds. All right. Yeah, um, Doom was my first guess, too. What's your uh, Metacritic prediction, by the way, for the new... Uh, the new Saints Row. When that the new Saints out. Row. Yeah. It's funny because we had this exact conversation a few weeks ago on the podcast. Oh, really? We did like our uh, predictions for the year, right? right? And right. like Greg Miller's predicting that Saints Row wasn't going to be that hot. I'm I'm hot on Saints Row. I think I think it's going to be good. I ha I, I so have too. faith in it. You know, I think rebooting it is the right call, is the right call for it. And I got to go I got to go to the the preview they did um, around what was it Gamescom Gamescom time. Yeah. Uh, and like I was pleasantly impressed by it, right? Like I think they're saying all the right things in terms of like, hey, we're trying to keep the fun, we're trying to make it a sandbox, we're trying to uh, uh, keep to the roots of what makes Saints Row Saints Row. Yeah. With that, I think the thing, thing that gets tough with Metacritic is that like you're also kind of competing with like what the conversation is and like what other games are doing. And this year is the year of open world games. Like even Ghostwire Ooh. Tokyo, I didn't realize it was open world until today, where those previews went up, and I'm like, this yeah. game's open world too. Like everything is open world. And so when you have so much competition in that space, I think it gets a bit difficult. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it like a 76 for a pre for my prediction. I think it's gonna be better than people think, and still probably around a 76, 76 to yes. 81, somewhere in that range. Okay, here I we agree. go, everybody. Uh, oh, Shaw says a friend of mine is on the team. Well, hats off to them. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Name of the game. Full name of the game. Thank you, mods, as always. Fred typing out that question too. That is incredibly helpful. If your friend, if your friend is on the team, that means they live in Champaign, Illinois, which is my hometown. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got I grew the... up in the same town as Volition. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. They got Ario Speedwagon Road or whatever. I remember. Yeah, they do have yeah Ario <laughs> Speedwagon the road named after them. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Head in the game. What do we got? Um. Oh, I I've see it. it. I see it. Do I have somebody is that, that the first beat one? Ray Luaza? Ooh, interesting. This is, of course, Jet Force Gemini. Oh, Fried Spam got it before Ray Luaza. There it is. Fried Spam. Congratulations. You're moving on to the next floor. Ray Luaza, by the way, is somebody that we should all be very scared of. I'm sure they're very nice, but they have won two times, I think. So everybody look out. Ray Luaza is very, very smart. Almost as smart as Fried Spam, who's moving out of that next floor. Way to go. All right. Next one, everybody. <laughs> a bug's life guesses Leafeon. Solid guess. Solid guess. <laughs> Solid guess. It's funny. All I needed was the grass. Really? You know, yeah, all I needed was the green for me to know. I know. You said it was one of your favorite games. I'm like, all right, we got to get it in there early. <laughs> okay, here we go. Name of the game, everybody. <laughs> it could be anything. Could truly be anything. Final Fantasy 13. Uncharted 3. Oh my god, people got it fast. Uh Havoc. Wow. Guesses Rage, which is correct. Wow. Based on a brown mountain. That is very impressive, Havoc. And a new name. I don't remember how I've seen you before, Havoc, so thanks for being in here. I will say that's a good guess. It's based off of I think once you see the brown, you immediately go to a certain era where it's like, yes. okay, this must be PS3, Xbox 360 <laughs> era with all the brown uh, uh, in it. And like, I think Rage is probably the biggest offender yes. in that category. Yep. But is. that's a very impressive guess. That is unbelievable. Congratulations. Also, not alone. Poor and Curly was right there, like a millisecond yeah. behind them with another Rage guess. That's amazing. Uh, sorry, Poor, Poor and Curly. We got to go from our record here. All right, here we go. Next one. I here. want to call Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Good Hail Mary. Lord! Hail Mary. All right, here we go. Hail Mary here. Oof. Uh, Blessing, do you want to be in charge of one, or do you want to really throw a stinker out for folks? Th these are your options for the first Hail Mary here. When you say stinker, like, like, I'd let you choose whatever, like, is a crazy one to, to put There's, out there. Is that what you're saying? You could, you could kind of steer one by reading some stuff, or we could throw one out that I think's really going to stump people for a long time. I'll, I'll put out one. I'll put. I'll. I'll, I'll read one. Okay. All right. Uh, he's gonna read one. This is the category pros and controls. Everybody, these are the controls from a video game. You have to guess the name of the game based on blessing slowly, line by line, from the top down, reading these controls. So, name of the game first to get it moves on to the next floor. All right. Good luck, blessing. All right. So in this game, A is jump. B. Is punch. All right, now let's 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 soak in this for a bit. Let's, let's see if anybody. Down. Oh my god! 
Was it first guess? Uh, not first, but very close. Uncle Longfellow got it with Super Mario 64. There it is. Oh my Honestly, god. I, I picked this because I knew it was going to be an easy one. As soon as you sent me this, I was like, I know this one already. Like, I don't <laughs> really? even need, need to know the answer. <laughs> don't even need to get to triple jump or anything. That is ridiculous. Now, here's my mistake. I was making a thumbnail for Trivia Tower on YouTube, and I was like, I don't know, what's a video game? I genuinely just put Super Mario 64 as a thumbnail for this episode of Trivia Tower, and then did not even remember that I had that as one of the prompts, so oh, maybe it was so an unconscious funny. thing. Uh, but Uncle Longfellow, very impressive. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. All right, moving on. This is back to Zoom Shot. Back to the name of the game here. Good luck. Full name of the game, subtitle included. Good luck. Oof. I, I feel sorry for anybody trying to guess at this point. You will not be able to guess it at this point. I promise you that. You don't think so? I'm, I'm getting I'm getting certain vibes from this one. You're off. You're completely off, I promise. Now, maybe we'll get a little warmer. Oh, we're getting a little warmer yet. Chat isn't, but... Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's fun seeing some of the guesses from chat. It really reminds you of the full history of video games here. Ooh, okay. The right publisher I finally saw. Oh my god. Who is the first to get this? Oh my god. Oh Every my god. <laughs> people Patience. Are people You gotta patient Pete this chat. Over the place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on. Uh um. all right. We are Godspeed mods for trying to sort through this stuff. I see it. I see, you see it. it? Oh, Leafeon is the person to actually is. get it. Spider-Man Edge of Time. That is amazing. Was, you know what's funny? I saw that, and I didn't know if it was right or not, because I forgot if it was Edge of Time or Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> yep, I saw a lot I of people. I was like, what, is the name? what was the title of this one? Uh, it was Spider-Man Live, Die, Repeat, I think was the name of this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone is in there guessing like Ratchet and Clank names. I don't blame you the least. Leafeon, congratulations. Moving on to the next round. I saw somebody guess Injustice earlier, and I was like, oh, man, if they only knew. Because I, I could see, I think the thing for me is when it started off in that first frame, I already got, like, superhero vibes from it. Ooh, interesting. Right? Like, Marvel movie vibes from it. Like, it looked like a superhero costume a bit. Yeah, it's a like clean. I can see it. I can see it. Um, okay, here we go. Full name of the game. And the full name of this game is a little bit trickier than you think. That's my, that's my preamble here. Full name of the game needed here. And good luck, everybody. You got some UI here to help. Or is it UI? You tell me. I guess I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> Maybe this is an enemy. Yeah, that gives me enemy vibes. This is one where, like, I know somebody in, in, in Discord has to be into this game, and they already yes. know what it is. Yep, and that person's name is TimTalk9, because it is Lost World, THE Lost World, Jurassic Park. That is amazing, TimTalk, that you can get that from that Dino Vision UI prompt. That is ridiculous, Tim Talk. Wow. And to not only guess like The Lost World, but to go for the full name, The Lost World Jurassic Park on PlayStation 1. Amazing, wow. Tim That's Talk. a deep cut. Yeah. Did you play That's it? That's a cut so deep that I don't think I knew this game existed. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, the soundtrack to this game genuinely rules, and it's uh, Michael Giacchino, who, who's gone on to do every oh, big soundtrack uh, under the sun at this point, and kind of how he got to start. Um, Okay, here we go. People are guessing Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that makes sense. That definitely looked like I have Sauron. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. First one to name the game. Oh, what man. game I is cannot this? wait to see people <laughs> answer this one. Oh, my God. Did you see how fast that was? Oh, was it first? Wait, no, oh, first it was, guess. It was the first guess. Air Epic Vico with Sonic Mania. Are you kidding me? You recognize an egg TV sign that early? That is ridiculous. Sonic Mania, man. I think that game just has a certain flair. Because, yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, this looks like Sonic Mania. This has, like, it has the colors, right? Right? The pixel art looks looks beautiful. Yeah. Uh, super detailed pixel art. That is very impressive to get it that fast, though. Wow. The nice thing, Epic, um, by the way, is not a member of our Discord. I sent out a couple of private uh, custom links to a couple other cool discords out there and so epic just came in and ended up making it to the second floor so way to go epic um all right here we go everybody next one we're looking for the full name of this game this is another one that's a little bit tricky full name of the game with the subtitle the whole kit and caboodle here we go i would have i've played this game i played like three hours of this game maybe i liked it i would have absolutely no clue right now 
Yeah, I'm gonna be oh, honest. I don't think I have a clue. Oh my! I'm not looking at the, at the name yet. Are you kidding me? Somebody got it no faster, way. but they didn't get the full name. Joe Town's the first to get the full name. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, based on like a greenhouse. What? That is fantastic. That is really impressive. Unbelievable. It, maybe those end up being like uh, the final boss. The greenhouses like transform into something. <laughs> That's the door. You open that door, all of a sudden the anime <laughs> music hits and it's like, all right, it's time to fight for your life. I, the, the real players are like, oh yeah, I've seen this greenhouse a million times. I die in front of it every single time. <laughs> that is amazing. and That's so impressive. And here's the thing. People might be watching on YouTube and they say, I can never hope to compete in Trivia Tower because how am I supposed to understand that based on a greenhouse? Here's the thing. You don't have to know all these. You just have to know one, maybe two, to work your way up the tower. So you don't need to be an expert. So no pressure. You Here, can still here's jump in. like some behind the scenes for me, right? Yeah. Like, I'm looking at you uh, unhide these images, right. and I can kind of see a lot of the names, but some of them are cut off. And so I just I just saw the Legend of, and so I was expecting you to show some Legend of Zelda stuff. Oh, interesting. And when I saw the screenshot, I was like, that doesn't look like Legend of Zelda at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one that is. That's uh, one of the CDI uh, games. Uh, okay, <laughs> this one I'm very curious about. Uh, full name of the game. Good luck, everybody. Based on this texture, I'm curious if there's any deep cut folks out there that could possibly get this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love these the answer so far. These are fun guesses, fun guesses. Um, okay. This is really just a speed reading competition at this point. Yeah, nope. it is. No one's there yet. Oh, people are warm. People are really, oh God, people are warm. But no one has the name of this specific game. See, this right here is an exercise in art style. Like a lot of yes. people are calling a lot of games that have very standout art styles. Absolutely. Uh, Sifu being the first guess was a good guess. Oh, oh my I think God. I see it. Keypad 12 with Massive Chalice from Double Fine. Their strategy game, their XCOM like that. It didn't make too much of a splash back when it came out, but I enjoyed fine. It was a cool. This, How this, long ago was this? I don't recall this game. Oh, man. It was another game that they kickstarted right after um, the big success of Broken Age. And it was probably, yeah, probably was released in like 2016. Wow, or something? after Broken because I love Broken Age. I don't know how I missed the, how I missed this one, but yeah, it might have even released like between the two parts of Broken Age or something. It was it was a cool mm. strategy game. Um, Oathkeeper says, "I'm sure that's a game. I promise it is." Oathkeeper, <laughs> look it up. It's cool. Um, okay, next one, another one I'm very curious about. 2015. There we go. Thank you, Evan One Sonic. Look at this, Evan. You're so generous. You're throwing away your 30 second cooldown just for our info. All right, here we go. Name of the game, everybody. Another UI hint. For folks but if you got it off this ui i, I would yeah. be convinced somebody was behind me just typing out the answers and looking over my shoulder because this is very Those UI specific hints, they're crucial i mean if you're a big fan of these games and you see a ui i feel like that is the like that's one of the things you're looking at the most in the game right and so yeah. like that must pop out to you but seeing so far it seems like this might not be <laughs> a deep cut for a lot of people okay people are Almost there is the best hint I can give. They are basically there, but not quite there. So a lot of great guesses that aren't nailing it. And the first person to is. nail it is Ragnarok's Edge. That is the Ant Bully, the game based on the movie. Mods, unless you find one above that. But a couple people guessed Ant Bully. Yeah. Which in and of itself is I know amazing. that burns Dan, Dan the, who is it? Dan the Bush? Dan the... Dan the Bush? I missed the name. <laughs> I don't know where they were either. Oh, Dan the Bish. Dan, Dan the Bish there. <laughs> Blish? I can't see. It's, the text is very small. Well, yeah. uh, they guessed Ant Bully. Oh, uh, I know. And also saxophone, 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 saxophone up there. Guessed it too. I'm sorry, folks. You were right there, but we got to get it to the burns. full name. All right. Uh, Grizzle Gaming says, that's a real game? I thought that was a joke answer. No, that's a real game based on the movie. Sorry, Dan. Hey, you, you're the, you won it in our hearts. Okay, here we go. Full name of the game. Good luck. If I may, this one's also tricky. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and my mind's already going through a, th a thought process of like, okay, this looks like a specific era. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a specific era. It's it's interestingly connected to the last game. Ooh, interesting. interesting. But not through the word bully, which would make sense as a hint, but that is not yeah. the case. All right, your biggest clue is coming up pretty soon here. Okay. A lot of people guessing bully, which a great guess solid. for for that. Sopranos, solid. How to eat ants. 
<laughs> That's right. It's how to eat ants. <laughs> My favorite PS2 gem. Oh, did I? Yeah, uh, we got somebody that got it. That is Maddie Baseball with Reservoir Dogs, the licensed game. Wow. Based on the Tarantino movie. I think you're the first to get it, Maddie. That is That's wild. super impressive. Yeah. Wow. Like, it's funny. It's fun seeing people's guesses here because this is one that I didn't play, but this is one that, like, I think invokes a lot of um uh, a lot of what we got from this specific era of games because i assume this is what ps2 ps3 yep it's very original xbox yeah 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 okay and a lot of people were guessing like vice city which makes a lot of sense and then there was a lot of like uh, i think somebody said godfather yep and then i don't know if anybody said scarface because scarface is what came to mind for me Ooh, interesting yeah the fun thing about this you've seen reservoir dogs right i've not seen Re Reservoir. oh my uh, god dogs. oh you should get yeah. on that um but the fun thing about that is they all have code names in that movie like all right you're mr pink you're mr orange you're mr brown and I remember mm. the tutorial in the Reservoir Dogs game was the only thing that was cool about it because it was a paintball fight with all the characters and they all had as their paintball colors, the colors of their characters' names. That was the oh, most that's fun. awesome. That was the most fun. <laughs> Look, I don't know about awesome. You don't have to give it up that much blessing, but it's, you know what? <laughs> it was something at least. Now, before you go to this next one, I want to call a Hail Mary. Good God. All right. Oh, by the way, people pointing out, Palo got it right, but Palo had two typos. Thank you, mods, for being on top of that. Really? You guessed Reservoir Dogs wow. with their typos? I'm sorry I missed it in there. Um, all right, here we go. Hail Mary number two. This is a category that has humbled people since the dawn of time. This is a category called Child's Eyes. Now, don't look, Blessing. Are you, are you already looking? Did you look no, at the I'm answer? Not okay, good. Don't look at the answer. Just look at the prompt. This, okay. These are drawings. They're screenshots from video games drawn by my nephews um, who yeah. are magnificent artists, but uh, <laughs> they say turn high def off. That might help here. So yeah. the first to guess the full name of this game based on this child's drawing of a screenshot of the game makes their way to the second floor. Truly Godspeed, everybody. Good luck. Full name of the game. Whoa. <laughs> full name of the game. Oh, I mean, I got to guess. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to see if, if Chad is thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Okay. Um, if it's a if it's a hint, ooh, 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 these are good. These are good. These are going fast. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. If it's a hint, I um, I sent these to my sister and said, hey, can you uh, have the kids draw these? She then sent it back a day later, and I saw this one, and I said, I have no idea what this is, even though I just sent this over to you the previous day. Oh, my day. goodness. Like, it's, it's correct in the drawing, and the first person to get it based on that, oh, my God, I believe Dennis M. is the first person here to get it and spell the name of the game correctly. Congratulations, Dennis M. That is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Wait, go back to the go back to the old one. <laughs> you know what? Fanta fantastic job. Thank you. No, Thank I you. see it. Yeah. My nephew I would not have put that together. That's incredible. My nephew's 23. He's just you know, he's he's having a good time. <laughs> uh no, yeah, I think what is he six? Uh yeah, I saw that and I was like, it's just mind-boggling, but there it is. An iconic screenshot from Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh congratulations. Uh people still like this category. Thank you. I believe it's Dennis M. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, with the one typo rule. Thank you, mods. You're on top of that. That's Aaron Lewin. Thank you for being much smarter than I am. Uh, they spelled Phoenix wrong, or I guess somebody spelled um, Phoenix wrong. Maybe Ubisoft did, but congratulations, Arid. The one typo rule, that stands. So you're moving on, Arid. I'm sorry, Dennis M. Uh, yes, wow, correct. That's there we go. All right. uh, my, so my guess was going to be Kid Icarus. Ooh, Which smart. honestly, like, not that far. <laughs> no, no, you're right there. You're right there. King of the North says, make these drawings into NFTs and retire, Hanson. Very interesting idea. Maybe for I'm extra kidding, life or something, we can auction them off. Um, okay, here we go. Next one. We're back to Zoom Shot, everybody. Give us the name of this game. Very curious if anybody can get it this early. I think it's possible. Mm. Wow. Holy cow. Everybody got it. <laughs> ben F. was the first to get it. That is Untitled Goose Game. Wow, Very everybody. Based on a bench. That's ridiculous ridiculous i am very Man, very impressed that's a testament to how much art style matters in a game yes because like i don't i like you just saw a bench zoomed in and people knew yeah like people were like oh that's entitled goose game i think that's a testament to how good this art this art style sticks out you're right absolutely 
Uh, Lil Wiss is on two stone for this. Yeah, you get this is like an early morning type of game, Lil Wiss. You got to be drinking coffee and watching Trivia Tower, playing Trivia Tower. But best of luck to you, buddy. Okay, here we go. Next one. Name of the game, everybody. Full name of the game. Good luck. Another UI hint. Another slight UI hint. See, I've not, I've not looked at the answer yet, and I, I think I might know what this is. Really? Oh, interesting. Hmm. I feel like people can guess the console based on some of the looks here and based on the guesses that are very common. I think they're correct for the console. Um, but no one's gotten it yet. Man. It's a game. We'll say I've looked at the answer and I do not know. <laughs> I did not know what this was. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. I see somebody Shinmaru with vagrant story on the PlayStation one. Way to go. Shinmaru. Unbelievable. Wow. Pull. That's very As impressive. I zoomed out, that got wild. Because, like, I, I, I think based on the zoomed-in shot of the UI, it seemed like it was going to be something a bit more, I guess, low res. <laughs> and then you, like, you zoom out and you're just like, oh, wait, no, this looks great. This looks hot. Yeah, the, the game does, for a PS1 game, it definitely has a really distinct art style. It's worth going back and looking at it. Yeah, my head definitely was um, Rainbow, Rainbow Six, uh, I forget which one it was. It was the one for N64. Oh, God, Operation Spear or some nonsense like that? Yeah, it might be, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, next one. Good luck, everybody. Uh, this is number the mods could probably help you out. This is number 13. Number 13, so you still got plenty of chances. Here we go. Good luck. Name of the game. <sighs> Full name of the game. Very curious to see how fast people get this one. Oh, my God. I'm not reacting yet, but I'm just letting you know that I am stunned by people's guesses so far. And Mad Gamer 64 I believe, is the first to guess it. Wait, I see one from Cow uh, is it, Cowboy. Are, are they higher? E Crowboy. Crowboy. Yeah, you're totally right. right. Yes, good call, good call. This is Life is Strange tr tr uh, 2. <laughs> Life is Strange True, I believe. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. People were guessing Life is Strange immediately. From the get-go. Wow. I mean, it's another one, man. Like, the art style of Life is Strange is so distinct. Um, very impressive to see, like, people throw it out there that early. Life is Strange 2, though, I think is the one that, that trips people up here. Because I think yeah. that when I saw the screenshot, I was like, that looks like True Colors. You know, that looks like uh, the one that just came out. The like, Colorado I think Life is Strange setting. 2 gets thought about less than the original and the latest one. Yeah, for sure. Sandwich between. Which, by the way, hey, if you want to learn about uh, Life is Strange True Colors and uh, full thoughts on it, you can check out that Max Spoilers that Janet hosted that Blessing was on that was like four yeah. to five hours long. <laughs> I believe it was ridiculous. <laughs> a very long spoiler cast, which is <laughs> makes sense with when it's me and Janet Garcia on content together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. This is the next chance. Name of the game. <clears throat> there was a hint earlier in this episode, if I may, if I may give you a hint through this. This Very curious to see how fast fast people get this one. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. All right, all right. Lots of good guesses. Solid guesses. It's inspired by some of these games. Yeah. Um, this is a game that maybe you will be playing on the Switch soon if you make it to the third floor by chance. We'll see how it goes. We'll see who's going to get it here. People are still... There we go. There it is. Born Stevie Boy with Repo That was a League. very strong hint right there. <laughs> I know. I realized like, ah, maybe that was a bit much. But, hey, This is a game <laughs> that might sound like Republic, but in French. <laughs> yeah, you know, some hints you can't take back. But, you know, if they were paying attention, they were paying attention. So way to go, Born Stevie Boy. Uh, you, it'd be awesome, Born CV Boy, if you made it to the third floor and then you won that code for Republic. We'd really appreciate uh, your effort there. All right, here we go. Number 15. Thank you, Fred the Mod and all the other mods. All right, here we go. Good luck. Full name of the game. Mmm. Ooh, good first guess. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Good second guess. These are all solid. Some people are in the right wheelhouse for the era of this game, is the closest hint I can give. Ooh, okay. Now we're getting warmer. Now we're getting warmer. There we go. John wow. Skavik with You Must Build a Boat. Unbelievable pull, John. I have not heard of this game. It's good. What is this? It's like, a, it's a match three 
I guess it's an RPG. It's like if, um, you know, Puzzle Quest 3 was good. Match 3 RPG. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a match 3, but then you're slowly making progress and you're building out a boat. I guess match 3 sim? What the hell do you call this game? Interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. There's, um, yeah, 1 million or 10 million. I forget if that was the sequel or the prequel, but that was also really good. It's a, it's a mobile game. But congratulations, John Skavik. Moving on to the next floor. All right. These butts, who is a former champion as well, says, I've never even heard of half these games. These are some deep <laughs> cuts. Yeah, this is a tough episode. Look, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, these butts. Um, all right. Full name of this game. A little bit tricky. Full name of this one. Good luck. I will say it is fun um, playing this game with such a wide audience that, like, yeah. has, like, a lot of different gaming backgrounds. Because you can put in the deep cuts and eventually somebody's going to gonna figure it out. Especially in this first round. Oh, my God! Like, Ben wow. Jammin immediately with Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Dude, that's how you know Ben Jammin must have loved Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness to have that answer on deck. Specifically the grass in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. That is ridiculous. Like, okay, so here's the final shot. That was like about here when Ben Jammin got it. That is that ridiculous. Is how, actually? How? This that could have been 18 different games, I would have guessed. <laughs> Holy cow. It's the ultimate question for Trivia Tower is how actually? How? No one summed it up better than you have less. He saw the bridge. He was like, oh, I've crossed that bridge before. That is I know what that water looks like. That is ridiculous. This is one of the main Pokemon centers. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten game. A gate village. Wow, he knows the name of the town. That's amazing, Benjamin. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of this whole thing, Blessing, is like yeah, you can throw in these deep cuts, especially in that first round, because someone's going to feel mm -hmm. it, and you're like, you're validating their childhood when they see this stuff finally pop up. Yeah, they're like, finally, I played this for a reason. Yes, exactly. Okay, here we go. Next one, name of the game. Good luck, everybody. This is number 17. This one could go fast, or it could go slow. Epic Mickey. Great guesses, great guesses, great yeah. guesses. Ooh. Pulling out Epic Mickey as well. That's a really good one. All right, there we go. Hullfish with Grim Fandango. Congratulations. Wow. I believe you're the first to get that. Yep. That is Grim Fandango. That is the office building in the beginning. Congratulations, Hullfish. Very, very impressive. All right. By the way, Campbell412, thanks for jumping in here. I love seeing the white names because that means that you were in some of their Discord and you actually clicked through a suspicious looking link in some of their Discord to come in and play. So I appreciate it, <laughs> Campbell. Um, all right. And now, Blessing, I don't want to tell you what to do with your life or in this game or anything. Well, I want to tell you what to do because yeah. I want to call it Hail Mary. Good Lord! Hail Mary, everybody! The final Hail Mary! Here we go. This is another round of Child's Eyes. Child's Eyes, everybody. Oh, Campbell from the Patreon. Oh, so you just haven't linked up your account. You should do that after this, Campbell. Okay, here we go. Child's Eyes. This is the drawing of a screenshot from a game. Guess the name of the game. And first one to get it moves on. Good luck. What is this game? Whoa. Ooh. It's like Elden Ring, somebody guesses. There it is. Ray Luwaza comes in, former champion. He gets in with a Hail Mary that is Pokemon Snap. Congratulations, Ray what? Luwaza. <laughs> you didn't get How? a blessing? Really? I thought that was not bad. I thought that one wasn't bad. I would n uh, not a million year million years would I have guessed that. Really? Oh, is wow. that like is that part of the promotional art? Um, I think it's a screenshot. Fresh I think shot? it's like when you're leaving the river level and the camera kind of pulls out. I think is what that's from. Oh, go back to the uh, to the the drawing. Yeah. Okay, I guess no, that's a camera. I can see it because yeah. they're they're in a boat. I didn't put it there. together. That was a boat. That's a really good call. <laughs> uh, Ray Lawaza, very impressive. Moving on to the next round. Congratulations. All right, here we that's go. Really good. Hey, good job. Good job, nephew. Okay, here we go. Full name of this game is what we're looking at. Full name of the game, number 18. Good luck. Another art style thing. Might be yeah. Might be noticeable. Whatever this is has a good art style, it looks like. It's, That's correct. This looks like it's uh, animation. There oh. we go. Not Weirder gets it with Ali Ali World. First one to jump in there and guess. Other people were guessing. Dennis M was panicking, trying to write Ali Ali World in time. But congratulations to Not Weirder. I love everybody going Sable immediately. Solid guesses. Oh, solid yeah. Sable's work. a very solid guess. Mm. All right. And uh, Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni is what came to mind for me first. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I get to that. I, uh, I played a little bit of this game and had a fine time with it. And I was like, ah, that's, that's all right. And then on a flight, I had it on my Switch and actually like focusing on it for a couple hours. I really love this mm. game. Have you played it much? Really? Yeah. I, I think I'm I'm the first part of that story where I played okay. it for maybe like 45 minutes uh, when I first got the code. And I was like, 
All right, I should probably go back to Dying Light 2 so I can finish this game for review, and I never went back to Ollie Ollie World. Yeah, I think it's it, it's going to get lost in the shuffle. But at the end of the year, I think it's going to be one of those like, hey, remember in the middle of that time when we were drowning from all those other games? Uh, Ollie yeah. Ollie World, worth going back to. Um, okay, here we go. Next game. Name of the game. Move on to the next round. You get the idea. Good luck, everybody. Question 19. Curious to see how quick this can be. Ooh, interesting. Yes, there we go. Wow. Wow. Congratulations to Hazard with Beat Saber based on the background art of Beat Saber. Unbelievable work, Hazard. That's awesome. Congratulations. As somebody, I play, so I, I love Beat Saber. I play a lot yeah. of Beat Saber, and I totally get being able to guess it that fast just from the background. Because, <laughs> like, when you're in that VR headset and you're like, you're, you just live in that game for a while, right, right. It's, you just start to internalize it. Like, I, I, I know that blue background as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unbelievable work. Congratulations, Hazard. And thanks for helping out uh, Kylie Hilliard and Elden Ring. He said that you helped them out uh, in the Discord. So appreciate it. Um, okay, here we go, everybody. Next one. Good luck. Who knows what this is? Maybe somebody does. Oh my God, everybody knows what this is. Congratulations to Tech Beatnik. The first to get it, but D's Butts was right there. Oh, I'm sorry, right Stevo. Stevo, you got it. It's just you didn't capitalize it, but that's fine. Stevo, congratulations. You take it. Sorry for confusing you, mods. That is Chrono Trigger, of course. Wow. Everybody, like based on just the art and I guess the layer of fog, like that is ridiculous. Yeah, I think the fog is probably what made it recognizable for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, a classic though, right? Like this, this, this is one that like, I feel like whenever whenever you talk to Chrono Trigger fans and you and you bring up Chrono Trigger, it's like that's is the they get emotional about it. It's like oh yeah, Chrono Trigger, one of the greatest RPGs of all time. Like yeah, no, I, I, I people are on it. It seems like in chat. Yeah, uh, the pixelated fog. I'm always getting emotional about it. Pixelated. I remember that pixelated fog. I was in third grade. <laughs> Spell Dragon <laughs> says Ben, you have like three favorite games. It's not that hard. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> Don't try and read in between the lines too much. We're trying to guess uh, which games are popping up. Because who can say? The fog lines. That's right. That's right. <laughs> who can say this <laughs> next game is one of my favorites? But this is one that we need the full name of. Full name of. There is the deepest dive on Chrono Trigger. That's right, Sean. Check it out on our YouTube channel. All right, here we go, everybody. Good luck. Grace Slayer, nice try. Trying to jump in there before I've even shown you anything. You dirty dog. All right, here we go. No one could have had this one pre-chambered. I'll tell you that much. Interesting guesses. Uh -huh. Really good guesses, honestly. These they, are guesses that I would I would have given. Yep, they're in they're in the right ballpark, kind of. Well, yes. If you combined all of these games, it would make this game. I'm feeling confident. Saying, oh my yeah, god! No, definitely. There it is. The Dynasty with Final Fantasy Type Zero. Very impressive Dynasty. Wow. You know that makes a lot more sense because the way it cuts off with the at the thing I'm looking at, right? Yeah. I see the Final Fantasy T, so I automatically was like, "Oh yeah, it's Final Fantasy Tactics." Oh, and as soon as that screenshot popped up, I was like, "I don't think that's how Tactics looks." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made a terrible mistake. Uh, that is ridiculous. Very impressive Dynasty. Whew. Cold Cold Fever says this was my third trivia tower, and it's always the Zoom game for me. Sorry, Cold Fever. Look, we shake it up every time for that first round, but okay, here we go. Next one, full name of the game. Full name of the game. Good luck. Number 22. This would be stunning. This would be stunning if somebody pulled it out here. Hmm. Okay. There's gonna be a twist coming up. Yeah. Okay. Very excited to see this turn. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, Discord god. De Discord definitely has an idea of what they think this game is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now it's now it's out there. Okay. I think I see it. Well, yes, we got some Lego Jurassic Parks, but technically the game is Lego Jurassic World, and I believe wow. Ford. Oh, Bob! No, no, no. Hang on, yeah, Port and Curly is the first one to get it. Bob Buell, the mods were jumping on him, but it's Port and Curly with Lego Jurassic World. Bob, I'm sorry, you were right there. And now I need to double check it, but I'm pretty sure that was the name of the game over Jurassic Park. Yeah, I think it was Lego Jurassic World, the game, which contained the Jurassic Park adaptations. It's confusing, but yeah. you're right there, Bob. I'm sorry. Whew, tough break, Bob, tough break. All Shout right. out to all the DK64s people threw out there because yeah. they know I, they're, they're throwing that out there because they know I'm here and that I love that game. <laughs> okay, here we go, everybody. Uh, good luck for this next one. This is number 23. Good luck. 
Is it possible to get now? Who can say? I would say yes. If somebody's a big fan of the sky in this game. Honestly, I think there's a little something there. Ah! It's not impossible. It's not an Elden Ring sky, I'll tell you that much. Some good guesses here. Oof, there we go. Oh. Mad Gamer 64 with Far Cry New Dawn. Way to go. That pinkish hue, I feel like, in the sky. Yeah. Like, All right, that, that was very symbolic of that game. It's funny because I think this is the same year as Rage 2, right? And like, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Both these games were like the. I guess this wasn't post apocalyptic. I guess this is technically what? Pre apocalyptic? No, I think it I was. I think works. it was post, no, yeah. Yeah, it was post because it's after the ending of Far Cry 5. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, like wild. Like this was this. I think this is the one that kind of got lost, lost to the shuffle a little bit. I guess they both kind of did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would have been on that. I would have been guessing rage <laughs> too, like <laughs> over and over again in chat, being like, "Is this not it?" Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, here we go. Number twenty-four. Good luck, everybody. Number twenty-four. This one, I'm curious to see who gets it. I guess I'm curious to see who gets all of them, but this one in particular, because I feel like there's going to be a turning point here again. Oh, 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 Interesting guesses. Oh, oh, okay, oh there my god. Is. Or Romano gets it with Crisis 3. Everybody was... Kitstar, you are a champion. You were guessing Crisis so fast, but it is technically Crisis 3 because of that suit. That is ridiculous, Orimomo. Very impressive. Super impressive. Wow. Holy cow. That is stunning. Everybody's just on top of it it's also tough because it happens so fast where like i see like i saw multiple people guess crisis and it's like oh if you just waited a second and saw that somebody else already guessed it you could just up that number yeah by one yep, or two totally it's always um, tough but you're flying so fast uh, somebody says yeah. it's the same suit from the spider-man game that is true yeah this was the enemy from the spider-man screenshot earlier okay <laughs> can crisis run on trivia tower good stuff star killer <laughs> all right here we go last one last chance to move on to the second floor good luck everybody What is it? What is it? There we go. There we go. Quick and easy. That is yeah, Nick. Yeah, I was expecting that real fast. Yep. Nick James Olsen with Metroid Prime. Way to go, Nick James Olsen. Moving on to the next floor. Hell of a round, everybody. Hell of a round. If you made it this far, uh, congratulations. Uh, hats off to you. Thank you for supporting the show. We appreciate it. I hope you had fun. We hope to see you next month. Let's do this again. Yeah, let's do this like same time next month, Franken. Does that work for you? Dustin Ellis, should we rename this round? Guess this game based on a single pixel. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll consider it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Should we move on to the second floor? Let's move. Here we go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Ah, oh, Jurassic Park Trivia Tower. Oh, that would be fun for a Jurassic Park Trivia Round. That might be too specific, but I wouldn't rule it out. Welcome, everybody. Second floor. If you made it here, you're family. And if you make it one more floor, you win a game code. I'll message you after the stream. Leafeon's in here feeling good. Uncle Longfellow's feeling good. The name of this round, everybody, for this floor is an old favorite. And by the way, if you thought that last round was tough, this round is going to destroy you. I feel like this one's gonna be really hard. This round is called Two Games, One Name. We're combining two games into one name. Um, Blessing, you have another word, another way to call this or phrase this. How do, what do you call it? Yeah, over on a kind of funny bless who, we call it messy mashup. Perfect. That's where we, uh, I give the description of two games mashed up together and you have to give me the messed up answer. Yes, okay, so Blessing and I will be reading these prompts going back and forth. You have to guess both names. So, for example, oh, what is the example I used? Do you have a go-to example? Well, actually, don't say yours, just in case it's one of ours coming up. But the one oh, I used in hilarious. the past is something like, you know, oh, this this game all about um, rock and roll starring Jack Black from Double Fine was great, but the puzzles on the NES were difficult. And the answer is Brutal Legend of Zelda, right? Oh, yeah, really good. That's okay, really good. so that's combining two. So that's what we're doing, combining two different game names. Oromomo is demanding, bring the nephew back. <laughs> the nephew's gone. The nephew can't save you now, Oromomo. You're screwed. All right, so we're looking for the full combo of names. And everybody's pessimistic, but someone has to win. It could be you, poor and curly. It could be you, Oromomo. Combine the two nephew's drawings <laughs> into one name. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's your clue, everybody. First clue. Jump on your motorcycle and explore this empty house. 
start off with an easy one. I think I think this is the easiest that we got. There we go. There All right, it is. Maddie Baseball with Days Gone Home. Congratulations. I'm sure you've done Days Gone Home before with messy mashups, right? Oh, I have to have, yeah. It's 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 right there. Because uh, now, like nowadays, when I'm putting together a messy mashup, I am reaching for the deepest of cuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am like, all right, we're like, I'm on I'm on PlayStation Store, and like on one tab, I have eShop open, another tab, I have Xbox Game Pass, and another tab, <laughs> and I'm just looking through games that can connect together. Uh, the thing that this is a little secret, I know I probably shouldn't say it on Trivia Tower, um, but the secret that has revolutionized the planning of Trivia Tower for me is I came into, um, I, what's it, what's the phrase I'm looking for? I acquired um, a spreadsheet of every game ever made. <laughs> and so oh my God. I can just like hit control F and find certain words and it really just, helps yeah, find a word. It really helps. Just type in rise. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like 18 answers. Yep, yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right, you got this one, Blessing. Good luck. I got this one. How do you improve the greatest game ever made? You let Sony release it as an overlooked RPG series on the PlayStation 1, and you add bigger dungeons. I added that last part just as an extra little hint because I felt like I was I was a little bit too too rough. Oh my god, immediately. Br Leafy on you were right there, but we need the full name of the game here for these combos. So technically that is Tanuki with the Legend of Zelda Breath wow. of the Wild Arms. Very wow. impressive, Tanuki. Very impressive. Good stuff. Don't let te technicalities get you down. Don't let those get you out. You know, write out the whole name. That's right. You'll get it next time. That's right. That's right. Um, you just bought Wild Arms at the retro store. That's fun. That uh, that soundtrack is really good to Wild Arms. So I hope you enjoy that, Crow Boy. And I love everybody showing their respect with the with the emojis or emoticons or emojis, whatever the mm -hmm. hell those are, immediately. What do you call those blessings? You're, you're young and hip. You're Emotes, right? Emotes. Thank you, Mr. 30 under 30. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> full, <laughs> full name of the game here, everybody. Full name on the of the game. Here we go. This adorably ghastly Capcom cult hit puzzle adventure game on the DS is even better with a cute company mascot wearing Sherlock Holmes's hat. I know that was a mouthful. I'll do it again. This adorably ghastly Capcom cult hit puzzle adventure. How the hell, Steve-O? Ghost wow. Trick Phantom Detective Pikachu. Holy cow. That is ridiculous. Wow, congratulations. That is amazing. I would Look. never have gotten that answer. Partly because I don't think I know what Ghost Trick is. Oh, it's cool. You should go back and, and check it out. Yeah, it's a cool just adventure game, I guess you'd call it, from Capcom. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't have remembered that Phantom Detective was a subtitle for that. So, steve -O, that's amazing. Um, okay, this next one... Uh, may God have mercy on your soul, everybody. Uh, good luck. Comic fans were demanding a sequel for a decade. Then it released on the Nintendo Switch, and Greg Miller was its only fan. He said in his review that it's short, visually amazing, the weapons were kind of cool, and having werewolves in London was a nice touch. <laughs> this, this is an example of overwriting a, a prompt because it's... <laughs> just too messy that's what you gotta do i yeah. legitimately like i i, I so over explain in my prompts because i'll literally like copy the steam descriptions for two different games and just match them together at that point <laughs> okay you might want to read it again slower to give people some time to think here sure 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 comic fans were demanding a sequel for a decade then it released on the nintendo switch and greg miller was its only fan he said in his review that it's short visually amazing the weapons were kind of cool and having werewolves in london was a nice touch Unbelievable. We got a winner here. That is Ray Luaza, I believe. Nice. With Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order 1886. And everybody else that was right there, hats off to you, champions. Ben F., Kev Bad, Hullfish, you were all right there. To be fair, Epic Vico was also right there with Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Woof Woof. You also were really doing a lot of work there. It did have a subtitle, not weirder. I know I felt bad about that because who remembers that it was called The Black Order, but it was in there. Yeah, this is one of the ones I don't have the answers in front of me here. So when I read it, I was like, all right, I know the second part is Order 1886. Yeah. But what game is that? I, I, I did not remember The Black Order. That's a really good pull. Yeah, amazing really was it. But that's why he's the champion. That's why they're the person to take down here. Or lift up, you can choose. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Suda51 and Grasshopper's third-person free-to-play game on the PlayStation 3 got a lot better when they added a PlayStation 1-era polygonal Bruce Willis with his looks from across all three films. <laughs> Suda51 
Oh my god, that is fried spam with the first to technically get it with Let It Die Hard Trilogy. Wow. Let It Die Hard Trilogy oh. was the name. Die Hard Trilogy is the name of the game on PlayStation 1. That is ridiculous, Fried Spam. I feel for everyone who did not play Trilogy. Because <laughs> I, I, I was ready to pull it. Because I was like, oh, for sure. Let It Die Hard. That's easy. Yep, yep, yep. I, I did not realize. I did not think about the fact that that game was called Die Hard Trilogy. I was trying to stress the, the three films thing at the end just to make sure I yeah. wasn't making two people too pissy. But congratulations, Fried Spam. Unbelievable. That's a really good call. The funny thing is, I was ready. Like, if, if I was in chat, right, I would I would have been ready to go with that one, too. Because, like, Let It Die is a game that doesn't get talked uh, about a lot right yeah. Suda one game of course like people love suda for no more heroes and a bunch of his cult classics mm -hmm. but like let it die like you mentioned right free to play came out on playstation kind of dropped out of nowhere totally. and kind of had like this interesting kind of loop to it where it was kind of soulsy but also kind of arcadey uh i really dug that game <laughs> and yeah. i kind of miss it honestly I, I wish they would i guess they are kind of bringing it back they're, in yeah, a new they're making that new one. Yeah. battle royale yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm curious to check that one out because I want to know if it has kind of the same energy and, and uh, mechanics to it because I really enjoyed playing Let It Die. Yeah, the vibe of that trailer at least looked like oh, it's got the personality. We'll see if you know, mechanics actually hold Bring up. Bring back Uncle Death. I think that was what his name was. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, exactly. this next one. This next one I want to apologize to everybody ahead of time for. But uh, but that being said, uh, Blessing wrote this one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did not. <laughs> Nobody remembers that Sega attempted to revive an arcade classic in 2008, and they super forgot that they added mountain biking, rocket wingsuits, snowboarding, and wacky outfits. Oh boy. Full name of the game, including subtitles, might be an important hint here. Ooh, interesting guess. Oh my god. Oh my Nobody god. Remembers. Ragnarok's Edge got it. Wow. Unbelievable with Golden Axe Beast Riders Republic. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible. I, I was wondering because like, like a lot of these, I'm getting one of the game and not the other. Right. I got Riders right. Republic. I was like, what in the world is that first game going to be? Yeah. They, Golden Axe Beast Riders. That's cool. Nobody remembers that game. Uh, and to be fair, Mad Gamer was right there with Altered Beast Riders. You were so wow. close with that but the name of the game yeah there wasn't altered beast as a revival it was golden axe as a revival with beast in the subtitle whoo yeah mad gamer you were right there you're right there hold your head up all right all right that was that was as bad as it gets i think that was as bad as it gets um, i mean even the, even so like somebody got it real quick that's true that's that true. was what guess number four or five there yeah oh guess I'm number four yeah that's really impressive super impressive okay here we go good luck everybody this Wii U platformer is so cute, you just want to touch the arts and craft inspired characters. Unfortunately, to do that, you have to cross a rickety bridge held together by black wads of slime. This Wii U, oh my god. Hang wow. On, hang on, hang on. I'm really, I'm really holding out here. Yes. Oh my god. Hang on. Hang on. Um, technically not mods. Technically not. Yes, I believe it is key or Kevpad twelve with Yoshi's Woolly World of Goo. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. So that's one typo. That's two typos for Tim two Talk because there's two O's in Woolly, and also the Yoshi's. I guess it's thrown off as well. So I think it's Kevpad because it's two O's, one L, right? Two O's, two L's, actually. Two L's? Okay, 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 okay. But I think... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. No, but I think I think it's KevPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I think it is KevPad. Because, yes. like, the, uh, uh, Tim has the one O, two L's. That's two typos. Yes. Uh, and, yeah, that looks like the first one to get it. Because, what, the... Are you counting the apostrophe as a typo? No, no. Okay. Oh, well, hang on. Yeah, do, I th oh, hang on. Do we say... We do have a rule about apostrophe, don't we? Let me see. Apostrophe would be the thing that would push it over the edge. Yeah, let me, let me see what the official rule is. Um, because if not, I think then it goes to Mad yeah. Gamer sixty four. Yes, not counting punctuation. Correct. There we go. So there you go. I believe that's Kevpad. But mods, uh, if you have a different verdict, uh, definitely let me know. But congratulations. Whew! All right, that was. This is why I'm glad we have that one typo rule. Because otherwise, it's just chaos. This is pandemonium. Complete pandemonium. Um. Okay. Uh. Do you have the next one? I think I messed up some copy and pasting, but I assume you got the next one over there. It is next one number eight? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do okay. have the next one. Go for it. This grim war survival sim from 2014 turned surreal when they added texture packs for Mass Effect, Skyrim, and Mario. This is tough. 
Oh my god, maybe it's not tough at all. Uh, John Skavik got it immediately. This War of Minecraft. Unbelievable. Oh, that's so funny. Unbelievable, That's so John. funny. I cannot believe that you got it that fast. That is unbelievable. Um, okay. <laughs> this War of Minecraft is really good. <laughs> okay, here's what I messed up. I messed up some things when I was sending it to you. So I think we're fine, but I, my order is just going to be a little bit off. So don't be mm. alarmed if I'm completely out of line here. Um, okay, this next one. Good luck, everybody. Make it to the third floor. This is another one that, uh, you know, a little, little tricky. A little tricky. All right, here we go. Why do these two games have to compete in this plastic arms race when their names pair so well together? The first full new entry without the original developer and the original developer's new spiritual successor, Unite! <laughs> but I think this is the worst. That's a, th whatever that is, it's nerdy. It is, and it I appreciate is, it. It is very nerdy. I, I promise you that. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, Tim Talk. I also, <laughs> I also don't know what I wrote. Okay, here it is. <laughs> here it is. All right. Pass. Pass. Okay, here we go. Why did these two games have to compete in this plastic arms race when their names pair so well together? It's the first full new entry without the original developer and the original developer's new spiritual successor. Unite! This sounds like something that happened recently. <laughs> mm, no, no. No? Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um... I would say this happened in 2007. Oh, okay. okay. Then I have no idea. Because this sounded like a Kickstarter situation where like a developer leaves their mm. original place and like they get the same idea. Interesting. People are very hung up on the arms race part. Focus less on the arms race as a literal thing and more on the idea of a plastic arms race. Uh, not weird or no. Don't look anything up on Google. Okay, here we go. Why do these two games have to compete in this plastic arms race? When you think pl arms race with plastic in the games industry. I mean, <laughs> arms comes to mind, but that's not it, right? No, <laughs> like, stop taking arms literally. Uh, okay, interesting. Oh, like the plastic arms race, I guess you can, Okay. Uh, my brain yep. goes places. It's the first <gasps> full new entry without the original developer and the original developer's new spiritual successor Unite! That last part is just a dumb thing. Ignore the Unite if you want. Look, I'm not proud of this. Um, <clears throat> I think some people are, I think, getting onto it. If it's, if it's where I think it's going. Okay. I think uh, I'm not going to comment on uh, anything about that. I'm going to double check something. But uh, I feel pretty good about Mad Gamer there. The first one to technically get Guitar Hero 3 mm. Legends of Rock Band. Wow, I'm sorry. That was the definition of a sweaty prompt. That was that was a lot. I like everybody. it though. I like because that prompt you don't you kind of don't know where you're going with it, right? Like I feel yeah. like when you started off, I was like, this might be a um, like a Castlevania crossed with like oh interesting. Um, I forget his other game uh, that he put out on Kickstarter. Right? I thought that was the direction. I thought like we were going like stained. a ukulele, Banjo Kazooie successor kind of thing. Right, Uncle Longfellow asked the fair question. Ben, are you trying to kill us? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I promise that was the clumsiest. I promise that was the clumsiest. <laughs> All right, Whew. all right, here we go, everybody. Next one. Next one. Hopefully this one will feel a little bit better. Two eras of cult classics finally combine when a hero skeleton becomes a detective and goes up against a scary enemy with a safe for a head. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Unbelievable. Everyone's right there with it. Tim Talk 9 is the fastest out of wow. the gate with Medieval Within. Very impressive, Tim Talk 9. Are you new, Tim Talk Nine? Uh, uh, your name doesn't ring a bell, but I like you competing. Uh, I like you doing a good job here. Congratulations! Very. It's impressive. funny because I, I was sure this was Grim Fandango, and I was like, "Wow, we're gonna double dip on Grim Fandango, huh?" All oh, right, interesting. Let's do it. Yeah, I guess uh, skeleton heroes are, are hero popular. skeleton becomes a detective kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't even think of that. Um, all right, here we go, everybody. Next one. Good luck. Full name of the game. One of these includes a subtitle. Just as a heads up. This reworking of a brutally hard action game on the original Xbox also found room to include Peter Molyneux's Big Animal God game. This, oh my God, Jay Rez jumping in with Ninja wow. Gaiden Black and White. 
Unbelievable, J Rez. Another former champion. Everyone else is right there. Wow. That is Dude, super impressive. This community is off the chain. The way they're just they're just getting these. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? I can never put out these prompts to my guys. <laughs> Granted, it is like the kind of funny members, and so like and they're dumb as rocks. Like what does right. Greg Miller know? But no even knows. still, this is very impressive that people are getting these. Yeah, that's the beauty of a hive mind, I guess. Uh you boil it all down. There's some unbelievable brains in here. Uh, oh, not a former champion, j -Riz. You've just done really well. Hopefully tonight. All right. I can't cross my fingers for you. That's a conflict of interest, but I'm rooting for you. <laughs> All right. Uh, take it away, Blessing. Number 12. Number 12. This streamlined racing game on the GameCube is adorable, despite one of its characters constantly revving his notoriously horrible motorcycle and having sex with his clothes on. Oh, bless. You can't say that on Trivia Tower. Oh, Come I can't on. say I can't say the S word. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows the S word's off list. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's messy. You might have to read it again. Yeah, I'm like reading it. I'm rereading it, trying to figure out what it is myself. <laughs> this streamlined racing game on the GameCube is adorable, despite one of its characters constantly revving his no notoriously horrible motorcycle and having sex with his clothes on. Is that last part that gets me? <laughs> it always will get you. Yeah, never have sex with your clothes on. It'll always get you. Uh, Dynasty gets it with <sighs> Kirby's Air Ride. Oh, really good. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was blowing it. Yes, I'm sorry. Ben F gets it. it. Is Kirby's Air Ride to Hell Retribution? Whew, oh, you need the ride to hell in there. You were very close to this. Congratulations, Ben F. Have you ever seen the game Ride to Hell Retribution? Blessing. I have, unfortunately. Okay. And I remember watching. I forget what reviews it might have been. It might have been Angry Joe or somebody reviewing it. I remember watching through the full thing and being like, man. How did this game even come out? Like, yeah, the, yeah having sex with their clothes on, for some reason, I went to the Yusu Larry. I should have known. I should have known it was right to hell. It's such Retribution. a disaster. We, we streamed through the entire thing back at Game Informer. It was like a late night stream. It was just a mess. And Tim Turner was playing. And then I remember at some point, the writer of the game reached out to Dan Reichert. And we ended up like calling him up and getting him on the stream. And he was a little bit drunk really? and was just talking about like how the project just completely went off the rails. It was, it was bizarre. Really? It was interesting. Um, at least they knew. At least they knew. Uh, okay. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. This next one, I'm very curious to see who will get this one. Good luck. Number 13. It's the only game where Captain America can fight Terry Bogard. I will say, just as a hint, it's the most fun. It's the most fun name of the entire batch here. Two games, one name. The only game where Captain America can fight Terry Bogard. Blessing, I see your eyes bleeding because uh, you're so confused. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm really trying to figure this out. I'm very curious. Yeah, that's that's correct. That's the correct take. And again, if I may, just as a hint. Oh my God! There we go. Leafeon, ladies oh. and gentlemen, with Marvel versus Capcom versus SNK. That's so fucking good. Oh. That's so good. <laughs> thank you. That's thank such you. a good one. Thank you. It's very fun to put together. Congratulations, Leafeon. Unbelievable pull. I knew it was gonna be something like this too. That's why I was like, I was going through the Rolodex of fighting games in my head, and I was like, right, is Marvel vs. Capcom? Is this Street of Fighter? How do I? <laughs> is, there, is it Final Fight or like a uh, King of Fighters? That's one thing. I was like, how do I connect these things? Yep, yep. It's a complete really mess. good. Uh, way to go. Yeah, uh, you're calling it out, MJ. Yeah, the fact that Leafeon capital. SNK is unbelievable. Okay, this next one, I look. This sounds obnoxious, but I really like writing this one too. Blessing, I think it's a this fun is number one. fourteen. Yeah. This C-tier PS2 platformer had a lot of tough competition, especially since its main character's signature weapon was a golf club. Hmm. Hmm. This C-tier PS2 platformer had a lot of tough competition, especially since its main character's signature weapon was a golf club. This is a thinker. Mm, mm. Mm. We're looking for the full name of a game. Yeah, I'm looking at the one answer that's given so far, and I have no idea if it's the real answer, but like... Uh, okay, the game... It's John Scovett. Got it. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger Woods PGA Tour <laughs> was the game that I was going for. So congratulations. Although, let me let me look this up because I'll toss you a code havoc if I was incorrect here. Is Tiger Woods P World Tour the name of a game as well? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. That, may, that, that would make uh, sense. Nope. It is not the name of a video game. But you were so close, Havoc. You were basically right Very there. So John Scovick. There we go. Now, I, if you want to know where my messed up head was going, yeah, I was trying to connect something to The Last of Us Part Two. 
Oh, I won't say why. Oh, for people who may not understand. But I was, I was like, I was like, what connects Last of Us Part Two? What uh, <laughs> platformer has last in the title? Yeah, it, the game. Yeah, the game ends with the word the. It's a very tough name. Yeah, for I was game. like, that's a tough one to pull together. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. I guess. Um, yeah, play and tie on the GameCube. I didn't think about that. But way to go, John Skavik. Very impressive. All right, here we go. Number 15. Last chance to make it to the third floor and win a game code. All right. Good luck, everybody. This is, we, by the way, full name of the game. I cannot stress this enough. Full name of the game for both these. Uh, the ultimate collection on the 3DS, featuring hundreds of small games from across the series, including one that's just called Slappers Only. <laughs> the ultimate collection on the 3DS featuring hundreds of small games from across the series, including one that's just called Slappers Only. I have a playlist on Spotify called Slappers Only. Really? That's good. That's no, good. I don't. I don't really. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, should, a, I should. It's a really good name for a playlist. Great name for a playlist. Okay, there we go. Born Stevie Boy, WarriorWare, GoldenEye 007. Congratulations, Stevie Boy. The first one to type it out correctly. I like Mario Party the Top 007 though. That's a really fun guess. Yeah, I know. I was reading that. I was You're like, right how do I? Play? Does that? Does that exist? Mario Party Super Mario Party Golden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds fun. Congratulations, Born Stevie Boy. Uh, everybody here, thanks so much for playing. Uh, poor and Curly, great job. Not weirder. Everybody that made it this far, you're a real champion. Uh, but we got a date with some champions on the third floor, everybody. So let's see what's going on up there. Welcome, welcome to the third floor. We're here. We're here, everybody. Uh, congratulations. You all want a game code. So stay tuned after the stream, and I'll DM you, and you get your pick of the litter, because I, I listed a lot, but there's also a ton of other game codes that we have. We have Ubisoft codes. We have a ton to, to give away. So here we go. Um, the category for this floor, the third floor, is one that's very easy for Blessing and I. We just get to sit back and enjoy. This category is called Game That Tune. We're going to be playing a piece of game music, First one to guess the name of the game moves on to the next floor. Here's the thing. Everybody at every category says, oh, no, and then everybody does great. So, uh, you know, I think you should hold your head up. All right. I will say this is a for me, this is a fan favorite. When I came through for Trivia Tower oh, with yeah. uh, other games media folks, like, yep. I'm a big fan of video game soundtracks. And I forget whether or not I did good on this one or not. I just love the idea of like trying to figure out how fast I can I can identify something based on the music because I think music makes games half the time for me. That's right. Like, all my favorite games have fantastic soundtracks, which must mean something. Absolutely. Especially some of these in this batch. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Guess the name of the game. There we go. Ragnarok's Edge, ladies. Oh, I'm sorry. Maddie Baseball. How did I miss that? With Castlevania. Congratulations. The first Castlevania. Here's where it really kicks in. Oh, heck yeah. This is a slapper. This is a slapper right It's here. so good. Especially like the version that's in Smash. Oh, it's unbelievable. Hang on. Oh my god, that breakdown. Forget trivia. Let's just listen to this music all night. Dude, I'm down. Yeah, just let's just jam out. <laughs> all right, congratulations, Matty Baseball. You're moving on to the third floor. I mean, the fourth floor, whatever. All right, here we go. Leafian says, I have this on vinyl. Listen at least once a week. Well, look, it probably sounds too good on vinyl. That's the problem. You're not listening through some tinny speakers. All right, number two, everybody. Name of the game. Name of the game, number two. As a hint, this is the title theme. Good luck. Very curious to see if anybody gets it. Yeah, same here. I played a lot of this game. People are in the right same generation-ish. I actually love this game. I hey, I love it too. We don't need to be ashamed of that anymore. Also a champagne joint. Yeah, also a champagne joint. That might be giving too much away. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> well, we'll see. How do well do people know their champagne? Do you remember, did you have a favorite weapon in this game? Oh, yeah. Can you describe it? I forget it? what they called it. Okay. I think it might have been like the real gun. 
Railgun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a beam of that blue. Shopping walls. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And of course, the rocket launcher, for obvious reasons. Also, the rocket launcher that was like half the screen. It was like a. It was just like shooting a nuke. Yes. It was just absurd. There was the one map um, where it was a little bit blood gulchy, where it's the two bases on the opposite ends of the desert canyon, yeah. but a lot smaller. I will say the, um, and this might be a big hint, right? The yeah. mines, the charge mines, were yes. really huge in this one. Yep. <laughs> oh my God, everybody. We're so close to the general feel. Um, not not there yet. Let's see. I saw a really good guess. That is bumming me out because they are, they, are, they are almost there. So, I mean, you mentioned, yeah, the mines are explosive. There's a lot of mines in the game, in the game's campaign. It's almost exclusively mines and miners. Mm, good call. Um, and the reason that these explosives are fun is because there we go, there John it is. Scovet with Red Faction. Congratulations! Whew. All right, look, what not, a game. not as iconic as I was expecting from that uh, title track, but that's funny enough, I don't think I would have been able to identify that one. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, okay. for some reason the main theme doesn't stick out to me as much in this game. I get it. That's fine. Uh, but look, John, you got it eventually. Congratulations. Um, I think that was the hardest of the batch, so everybody else can relax. Um, all right, here we go. Question number three. Good luck. Full name of the game. Tough not to make facial expressions during this one. Yeah. Heavy rain is such an interesting guess. That is guess. That, that is guess. <laughs> okay, there we go. TikTok nine with The Walking Dead. Congratulations. Mass Effect three, great guess. Same year, 2012. Not quite though, Leafeon. Tim Talk nine. Congratulations for remembering The Walking Dead theme. That's amazing. Oof. That's really good. That's excellent. excellent. That's one that I think I would have gotten there eventually, but I don't. I don't think I would have gotten it that fast. No, but then it's, once I hear it, it's like, oh, that's right. That's the music that made me sad for that entire game. I remember now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this one, I want to emphasize. Um, can just feel the vibes. Not sure how I remember it. That's interesting. Um, okay, number four here, full name of the game. Subtitle is crucial here. Full name of the game. Good luck. Hmm. Oh my god! There we there go. There it is. Fried Spam. Everybody's right there. First guess. Fried Spam is the correct first person. Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. That is ridiculous. I'm very, very impressed. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of feels like Wario's first outing. It feels like Wario. Yeah. It has that energy. I'd actually never played uh, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Mm. I, it's funny because I did play Super Mario Lands. I want to say one and two, maybe just maybe just one of them. Okay. Um, and then I also played the Wario Lands on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, four. Um, and like, I would not have guessed that that was the music to Wario Land, Super Mario, or sorry, Super Mario Land 3. It's like kind uh, of in the middle that. ground of the Venn diagram of the like yeah, Mario Land like two games. Two very distinct and then, types of games, right? Yeah, yeah. It's really bizarre. Because uh, this is also, this is still in the Game Boy, like, color era, uh, era I assume. Yeah. Yep, yep. I think it was Game Boy Color, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Question number five. Specific name of the game. Good luck. <laughs> Leafeon, you dirty dog! <laughs> Congratulations, that is Mega Man 2, Crash Man music. Unbelievable work, Leafeon. Moving on to the next round. Jeez. It's a You're, banger so far. It is so it's good. Slappers. <laughs> slappers only. If ever, um, if you're ever feeling down or just need some background music while you're working, if you just put on that Mega Man 2 soundtrack, it is unbelievable how solid every song is on that entire soundtrack. It's crazy. Dude, I have that with Persona Persona 4. Yeah, yes. well, like, I was, uh, this morning I was listening to the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax soundtrack because mm. I've been playing a little bit of that game. Yeah. And the main theme is called Break Out Of. And when I tell you, 
that I could listen to that theme forever. Really? Right? Like, it's incredible when you have those soundtracks where it's like, yo, this is just a good album. Like, this is, I don't even need to play the game. I just need to listen to this. Yeah, that's a good reminder. I need to look that up. Okay, there we go. That's Mega Man 2's Crash Man Stage. Okay, number six, everybody. Here's a hint. It's on the same console as another one of the games that we talked about earlier. Good luck. You recognize this one, Blessing? I know the game. I don't okay. know if I recognize the theme. Oh, interesting. It has the vibes, though. I recognize the vibes. Yeah, it sure. definitely feels like the game. Which is all you really want from a title track. Exactly. It's Some not, good guesses in chat. Yeah, they're right there. Gran Turismo, interesting. Not quite. I love the Devil May Cry 3, three guess. Yeah, solid. It is a PlayStation 2 game, as a hint. It is one of the earliest PlayStation 2 games, if that's another hint. First game in a series. There, there we it go. Is. Ragnarok's Edge with SSX. Congratulations. Moving on to the next round. That is a title theme from the original SSX. Very impressive. Very impressive. How, how excited are you for Shredders? I don't know. Honestly, eh, I kind of just want to go back and play SSX instead. Or play... I feel that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm i curious to see it. I, I, I don't know. I'm talking around it because I think at the core I'm not that excited about it. I saw it and I was like, I'm that's, glad that's they're fair. making a new snowboarding game, but I guess it just didn't really blow me away from the trailer. But maybe once I get my hands down, it'll be amazed. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it for the idea that maybe it could give me that, um, like, quench that thirst that I have for, like, an SSX game. Because even Rise Republic, I played that, and I had a really good time. And I think yeah. a big part of that was just the fact that, like, I've been craving that kind of game for a long time. I've missed playing these extreme sports games. And so, fingers crossed that Shredders uh, nails it out the park. I think that's coming out later this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> I was about to just read the name of the game, which is not how you do trivia. All right, <laughs> good luck, everybody. Full name of the game. There we go. Born Stevie Boy with Final Fantasy VIII. Way to go, Born Stevie Boy. Everybody was right there. It was tickling some Final Fantasy bone in their body, but that is Balam Garden from Final Fantasy VIII. Congratulations, Stevie Boy. Yeah, Final Fantasy definitely has a sound set. Yes, yes. Immediately, you're like, no, that's Final Fantasy. Yep, and I think I think eight's my favorite soundtrack to Final Fantasy. Yeah. Although, remake of seven. It's tough to ignore, Ooh. like, the... Remake of 7 slaps. It's ridiculous. They made, like, what, the official soundtrack was, like, 10 CDs? It was just, it's absurd how much music they packed in there. Yeah. Ugh, oh, it's so good. Slappers okay. only in that one, also. That's right, that's right. Slappers only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, number eight, everybody. Good luck. Number eight. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Interesting. Man, I didn't realize this game was slapping like that. Oh, have you ever heard of this game's soundtrack? I, I played a lot of this game. I just, I, I guess I never realized. Here's a hint. It has two official soundtracks. This is the first one. Ooh. Is such an interesting guess. It is good. Yeah. God, I love it. Oh, it's so good. This definitely is not that, though. It's not. Um, kind of feels like it sometimes. Um, I can see that, yeah. This is a game from 2010, if that's a hint. It's a game from. I should probably look it up before I say it out loud, but it might be from the same publisher as Apeout. Ooh, maybe similar. I'll double check. I don't know if it had a publisher when it first launched. Yeah, it's a good question, though. 
<laughs> this is interesting. Definitely not the same publisher. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mad Gamer 64 with Super Meat Boy. Wow, all right. Congratulations, Mad Gamer. You were right there. You can hear the Danny Baranowski. That's the same composer as Crypt and the Necro Dancer. So that was a great guess, Mad Gamer. And I don't know if you're just waiting down the seconds so you could guess again. Unbelievable work. Yeah, this is that weird case where there was a falling out between the developers and the composer. And so when they ported it, I think to like the next generation then, the composer was like, yeah, you can't use my soundtrack. And so then Really? They, yeah. Yeah. And so they just made a whole new soundtrack, which is good. It's just not... Mm -hmm. Not Danny Bear. Was that from the original? That was the original, yeah. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Because I, I played I played it on, I want to say, PS4. Yep, so um, that would have been the lot. new soundtrack. Yep. Wow, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because I was like, wow, I didn't realize this game had such a great soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, I, like, I guess I like the the um, updated soundtrack fine. Yeah, that's but good. Yeah, that's, that, that's mind-blowing. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, okay, here we go. Number nine, everybody. <laughs> this one's going to be weird. Name of the game. I hang on. He's got it. Does he got it? I keep trying, I'm like trying to it. zoom in to see if those are the right letters. It is. He's missing the Y, but that's Yoshi's story. This is the end credits to Yoshi's story where the Yoshis just scream out the word Nintendo over and over again. <laughs> that's fantastic. It's beautiful. It, like the, the thing, like, so I saw the Y was missing. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, maybe that counts toward the one type of rule. And then I couldn't tell if the O was an O or an A. Oh, Like, sure. I thought they typed in Yoshi Star. And I was like, uh, I don't want to give it away, but I also can't tell if that's the right answer. I know, it's tough. Great it's job. Tough. Very impressive, Ray Luaza. Moving on to that fourth floor. God, Ray Luaza is a machine. All right, here we go. Number 10. Last chance, everybody, to stop Ray Luaza once and for all and to make it to the fourth floor. Good luck. This is a vibe. Yep. There we go, Steve O. Killing it. Stardew Valley. Jumping in there. The last one to guess the last one. First one to guess this one. Congratulations. That is Stardew Valley. Very impressive, everybody. If you made it to the third floor, you're a champion. Uh, stay tuned after the stream. I'll be messaging you, and you get to choose which game you want. You want a free game code just by uh, supporting us on Patreon. So, hey, we appreciate it. Hope you had a good time. All right. Oh, I don't want to stop listening to this music. I just want to yeah, put on all these songs at once. All right, thank that you. That Yoshi Story song, it's hard. <laughs> I, I love that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, fourth floor. Here we go, everybody. Goodbye. Fourth floor. Here we go. Yoshi's Island. Okay, everybody's screaming about Denny Baranowski, SSX. All right, all right. Thank you all for being here. Yoshi's Stork. Congratulations, everybody. You made it to the fourth floor. You're all champions. If you make it to that fifth floor, you will win another game code, including a game code for Elden Ring, but you have your pick of a bunch of them. So congratulations. Uh, this floor is called Top Comment. It's a favorite of mine. Uh, it's a new one, but I, I feel like it's been in the last couple episodes because I think it's fun. Um, what I did is I went to YouTube and looked at video game trailers and then found popular comments and ranked them in order of increasing specificity. So you guessed the name of the game based on the YouTube comment. Does that make sense, Blessing? That makes a lot of sense, and that is an awesome idea for thank a game. You. Thank <laughs> you. I love that. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, you got your prompts up there? I'll go first, but I just want to make sure you got all those hiding there. I got mine, yeah. Okay, sweet. Okay, here we go. Guess the name of the game based on the YouTube comment. The character design is so colorful and over the top, it makes Overwatch look like a safe attempt by comparison. Interesting. Wow. Second comment. The game looks fun and all, but the volleyball and basketball mode are freaking amazing. Thank you, Nintendo, for keep making genuinely fun games. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Quote, I was shocked at first but having blanks like this is actually pretty rad. Unquote from blank man, comma, 2017. There we go, born Stevie boy with arms. Congratulations. Uh, that was it. I was shocked at first, but having arms like this is actually pretty rad, said uh, Springman in 2017. Congratulations, born wow. Stevie boy. 
<laughs> Thank you, mods, for catching him with those arms. That's amazing. That's awesome. I, so, Mike, when when you said the that second one of like, oh yeah, I love the basketball and volleyball, volleyball most. Thank you, Nintendo. In my mind, I was like, I bet it's Rocket League, <laughs> and I bet like the person oh, just got it wrong. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even remember. Maybe I didn't. I don't think I played anything beyond the demo for ARMS, but I had no idea I had the volleyball and basketball mode. That sounds really yeah, fun, actually. Yeah, I don't actually. recall that. You know what? When you say it out loud, I'm like, oh, maybe I do remember somebody dunking a ball in a trailer. It seems like a cool idea. I kind of want to go back and try yeah. it now. Okay. Next one. You got it. All right. Read. My turn? Yep. All right. Next one. This game was going to be huge. Dot, dot, dot. Weird phrasing. This game was going to be huge. Dot, dot, dot. Interesting first guess here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next one. The guy kind of gives off that Dante feel. The guy kind of gives off that Dante feel. Oh my God, Leafeon. Mad Gamer was right there behind him, but Leafeon with scale bound. Moving on to the fifth Man. floor, unbelievable, Leafy. I feel that now that I know it's Scalebound, I feel that. I, dude, I, I wanted that game to be good so bad, and I wanted it to come out so bad, so bad that I bought an Xbox One for it. <laughs> oh God, and it's uh, so yeah. sad. I don't know if you saw like those quotes from Platinum recently, but Kami was out there like, "Hey, Microsoft, Phil Spencer, let's make it happen, please." It's like, there's yeah. nothing worse it's than like, like not gonna the happen. public it's begging, not gonna but happen. it'd be nice. Um. Okay. Next one. Good luck, everybody. Question number three. There's going to be five questions total here, by the way. Uh, question number three. This isn't a game. Is a life experience. Is how this person typed it out. This isn't a game. Is a life experience. Oh, my God. Fried spam with Journey. No way. Yes, he got it. No way. That is unbelievable, fried spam. Wow. That's so funny. I mean, I guess it is life experience. There's Fright Spam <laughs> left that comment on that video. <laughs> <laughs> Thought that seemed familiar. That is unbelievable. All right. Holy cow. Good job, Fright Spam. Were you a big journey person? Uh, Does that speak to you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I played it twice um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I felt like last time I went back to it, which was when it came out on PS4, which still looks amazing and stuff. I had a couple of those moments of like, I, I'm, was a little more confused than I remembered being the first time I played. There's a couple spots in that game where I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to go again? What am I supposed yeah, to be what doing? Am I supposed to do? Yeah, but still, it's so beautiful. You can't you can't criticize it too much for that type of stuff. Yeah, it was that that game was a game that I played a demo of on PS3, and I was like, oh, this seems really cool, and like I really like how it looks. The graphics seem really cool, and then I yeah. played it many years later on PS4, and I played through it. I finished it, and I was like. Huh, I don't think I get it. Like it was like the I don't <laughs> it's like the scene from Community where Choi Ab is like uh like he's crying, he's like, I didn't get Inception. And like that's how I felt after I played Journey, where I was huh. like, Why don't I get this though? Like why don't I why isn't this clicking would be the way it clicked for other people? Because I, I love uh Shadow Colossus and Eco, yeah, and I felt yeah. like it was very I guess eco and energy, and like that should work for me, but for some reason I don't know. Like it either went over my head or I just didn't click with it as hard. Just uh once you're older, I think you'll understand life and pain and yeah, I gotta hurt better. I gotta hurt more. You gotta hurt more, Blessing. That's the That's secret. Fair. That's fair. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, the next one. That's on you. All right, next one. Uh, number four, right? Yeah, 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 number four. Yep. I'm mad she doesn't sing this at any point in the game. I'm mad she doesn't sing this at any point in the game. It's an interesting one. Yeah. I'm mad she doesn't sing this at any point in the game. Next one. People watching this in 2017 didn't realize that we'd be living through the game in 2020. There we go. John Skavik, The Last of Us Part Two. Congratulations. Ooh, Way to go, call. John Skavik. That trailer where she's playing the guitar on the bed. Good Ooh. call. That's a that second that second comment. It's it's hard. <laughs> People watching this in 2017 didn't realize we'd be living through this in 2020. And it's funny because I read that and I was like, oh, is the answer Death Stranding? Because I see people also here oh, right. are leaving Death Stranding as an answer. Uh, but then I was like trying to replay. I was like, did anybody sing a thing in a trailer? That sounds like Kojima. 
yeah. Kojima would put somebody singing in his trailer, but yeah. I don't know if that trailer is out there. I could see him like singing to the mirror in his little in his room or something. Yeah, yeah. it's like Mama singing to the babe to a baby. <laughs> oh yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number five, uh, right? Yes, last chance. Last chance to make it to the fifth floor. Here we go, everybody. Good luck. I can't wait to not understand the ending of this. I can't wait to not understand the ending of this. <laughs> it's funny seeing all this guy says really. Finally, going back to the medieval roots of the franchise, a much welcomed change. Hmm. Finally, going back to the medieval roots of the franchise, a much welcomed change. I know what my guess is. Interesting. Interesting. Here's to see if people are thinking on the, on the same lines. Steve-O jumping in with Final Fantasy 16. Congratulations, Mine Mine was in the same place. I was like, this has to be Final Fantasy. Called it. Oh, Valhalla. Interesting. Interesting guesses, everybody. Steve-O moving on to that fifth floor. Congratulations, Steve-O. Everybody here is a champion. You're all very impressive. Uh, but we have a date with Destiny on the fifth floor. So we'll see you guys later. Here we are, fifth floor. All right, we got Leafy on. We got Born Stevie Boy. We got Fried Spam. We got John Skavik. Steve-O. Comes to this. Congratulations, everybody. Whew. This is intense. Now, the way this works, Blessing, is one question. They get one question. And the first person that gets it right wins Trivia Tower. They win an Astro A40, A40 headset, which is worth hundreds. Uh, they win, obviously they already won the game code. Everybody here has won a game code, so stay tuned after the fact, I'll reach out to you. Um, also, you win access to the MinMax Discord, uh, the MinMax Council tier, which means you can join us for party chat or Patreon exclusive podcast every week. Keys to the kingdom, basically. You get any image you want on the wall of heroes throughout every MinMax video. So if you haven't uh, received this idea yet, uh, the pressure's on. I hope each of you, your palms are as sweaty as they've ever been because yep. you need to be more Knees alive. That's right. Arms heavy. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Really live in this moment. Really focus. Be more present than you've ever been in your lives. Talking to you, Fried Spam. Talking to you, Born Stevie Boy. Steve-O, Leafy on. Okay, here we go, everybody. The category is emoji that's familiar. Emoji, that's familiar. It's a terrible name for a category blessing. I'm sorry. I love it. That's actually great. I, I think it's great. Thank you. I'm going to use emojis to show a game's plot. You have to guess the name of the game. Oh. <laughs> are, are there spoilers in the emojis? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, not, it'll, you won't really understand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good luck. What is the name of this game? Blessing, would you have any idea from here? Not at all. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe. Mm, mm. I got an idea. All right. And let's keep rolling. <laughs> all right, I'm throwing that idea out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I promise this will make sense. This will make sense. Interesting guesses so far. Yeah, I like I like Kill Slayer stuff here, or guess here. <laughs> yeah, solid, solid, solid guesses, everybody. I'm gonna keep on rolling. The more emojis, the less I know what the game is. <laughs> Try finger buckle. <laughs> Damn it, Leafeon! <laughs> you can't, you can't, not here. <laughs> he goes for a joke. If people, I, I think people watching this from that last clue, I think they might get it. I think hardcore fans are screaming right now. But we got more. Fried spam, ladies and gentlemen, with control. Oh. Way to go, fried spam. The new champion of Trivia Tower. Unbelievable. Whew. Wow. Very That's impressive. That's a really good guess. The room and the headphones is excellent. Thank you. Thank you. That is excellent. I was very happy when I remembered that bit. Like, oh, of course, that guy, that weird guy with the mop. <laughs> 
Fried spam. Unbelievable work. Congratulations. But hey, congratulations to everybody who competed in this episode of Trivia Tower. If you're watching at home and you enjoyed this episode, please help support the show and compete in next month's competition as well by going to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. We appreciate it. You get to compete, win codes, win prizes with an Astro A40 headset and help support independent games and media at the same time. So we appreciate the support, but hey, let's go meet Fried Spam in the Victory Lounge. You ready, Blessing? I'm ready. Here we go. Wow. Look at this. The champion. Wow. Sandtrude is on the way out. Sandtrude, you've done an amazing job. Thank you for being a great champion throughout the month. I hope you've enjoyed your time in the spotlight. But we got we got Fried Spam here, who I believe I was hammering on enter after that fourth clue. Oh, really? You knew his control based on the headphones? That's amazing. Congratulations, buddy. Unbelievable. Um, there's no uh, timer here, so you can talk however much you want. Um, what was your favorite category? What stood out to you? What was the most stressful one? What was the biggest Hail Mary that you pulled out? Tell us your journey through Trivia Tower. And this is your first time winning, right? Um, <laughs> there we go. Thanks for the mod. Oh, the DMs. <laughs> You're getting all the good ones. Oh, that's perfect. Let me tell you, when I saw the, the headphones and the broomstick, my mind, and I'm sure, plenty, I'm sure other people might have thought went this direction too, my mind was thinking like a witch flying on a broomstick with headphones on. Oh, and I was like, interesting. Yeah, and I was like, there's got to be a game. There's got to be a game with a witch that has on Beats <laughs> headphones. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the clue in the beginning, the idea there was, oh, first time uh, first time winning. I always love Game That Tune. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody liked that. Normally, it's just every time a category is revealed, everyone's like, oh, no, what have you done? But um, yeah, the, the beginning one, it was like the old guy who has that gun in the beginning, then he kills himself in the beginning of the control, and then Jesse gets the gun. That's what I was trying to show oh, with like the guns in call. the different spots or whatever. Uh, Fried Spam says, I was surprised how fast I got Jet Force Gemini in the zoom shot. Congratulations. That's very impressive, yeah. Fried Spam. And that's a, that's a blessed joint right there, too. That's I, right. I absolutely adore Jet Force Gemini. And so, like, if you got that one, you're a fan favorite of mine. <laughs> uh, Fried Spam, you got to start thinking about what image you want on every Mimax video. And then send it over to me with Wall of Heroes. And then I'll DM you and we'll uh, get your info so we can ship out that Astro 40 headset and all that fun stuff. But thank you so much for supporting Minmax. Thanks for competing. Thanks for being a champion this month. Thanks for knowing so much about video games. Thanks for studying video games your entire life, Fried Spam. Uh, and Blessing, thanks for joining me, sir. Ben, thank you so much for having me. This is really awesome. This is my first time co-hosting uh, Trivia Tower with you, and this was as fun as I thought it was going to be. And oh, good. So, uh, I feel blessed to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it'd be fun to... Uh, obviously, I want to do another like all-star round. I think that'd be great. Hell yeah. Um, and honestly, at some point... I need redemption. Yeah, I think you need redemption. I did not make it far enough, and I'm somebody... I, I pride myself on my tri video game trivia skills, and so I want, a, I want a chance back at the throne. I feel like you made it to, what... Third floor, maybe? You made Third the... floor sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. You can hold your head up. You see how hard this is, man. It is. It is. And, like, you go for the deep cuts, which I, I really respect. <laughs> like, I, I play easy ball with the yeah. kind of funny dudes because, again, Greg Miller, dumb as a bag of bricks. Andy Cortez only plays shooters, and Tim Geddes doesn't actually play video games. So, like, <laughs> I really have to play it easy against them. Yeah, But I I'm really it. down to, uh, to come back and play against the actual experts in the games media space. Put me up against the Kotakus, the IGNs yep. of the world, yep. and I'm ready to throw down. We can do it. Or, you know, it'd be fun, too, not to spitball live here, but it'd be fun to have, like, a mid-max versus kind of funny community thing. Where it's just Ooh, those two communities really going head to head. I'd be down for it. Okay. Yeah. We right. do like a mixture, the Bless Who Trivia Tower um, mashup. Yeah. That'd be fun. All right. Well, hey, Blessing, uh, if people have enjoyed you, which no doubt they have, uh, where should they go to experience more of you? Uh, yeah. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter. At Blessing Junior is my handle over there. I'm also at Blessing Junior on Instagram and uh, other social media platforms. I guess mainly those two. I guess TikTok also. At Blessing Junior, you can follow me anywhere. Um, you can find my content over on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, where I host various shows like PS I Love You, which is our PlayStation podcast. Kind of Funny Games Daily, which is our video game news podcast. Gamescast, which is our video game reviews and impressions podcast, and so on and so forth. Just go over to Kind of Funny Games, and you'll find me all over the place. Uh, I also Twitch stream every now and then over yeah. on my Twitch channel, Twitch tv slash blessing junior so you can follow me there as well yeah it's nice i see you're kind of building up your own youtube channel like you have those uh, nintendo tapes with alex van aiken from game Informer, which is yeah. cool that those are all up there yeah 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 my uh, youtube.com says blessing junior yeah it's like i i, I want to build it up it's the thing of like man youtube videos are harder to make than twitch streams where twitch stream i just show up and i play Elden ring for an hour whereas like right. i like i love making um like short form video essay type content and like like making music and stuff too and so whatever idea i get I, I'm, I'm uploading it to that youtube channel uh and so yeah definitely subscribe if you like the idea of just random cool stuff that might come to mind for me that i feel like creatively putting out there i'll put that on my youtube channel that sounds awesome well hey you've done a great job man thank you so much for all the help in this episode thank you so much for having me
Cool. And thanks so much for watching and sharing Trivia Tower with a friend. We appreciate it, everybody. We'll see you next month. Bye.